Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression. x plus y plus z is equal to 0, so that's given. And we're supposed to evaluate or find the value of x plus y quantity squared divided by xy, x plus z quantity squared divided by xz, plus y plus z quantity squared divided by yz. So we're going to find a numerical value for this expression. And I'll give you two approaches, not necessarily two methods. I'm not going to explain in depth, uh, especially the second one. It's fairly easy to do if you are familiar with one thing, which I'll talk about later. OK, great. So let's start with the first approach. Now, these kinds of problems are very common, and we've done quite a few videos. I can probably share the links down below somewhere. I don't know where. But anyways, so we have a given expression. One of the things you need to be careful about is x, y, z should not equal zero because that's going to make our expressions undefined. So none of these can be zero, but there's some can be zero, which means some are positive, some are negative. I know some folks are just going to test some values like, okay, you can plug in one, one and negative two. That's not one of my methods because I'm going to show you a real algebraic method. Okay, ready? Let's get started. So since I know that x plus y plus z is equal to 0. This allows me to write x plus y equals negative z, x plus z as negative y, and y plus z as negative x. And then we can just go ahead and substitute. But you're going to square, for example, if you replace x plus y with negative z, you're going to square negative z, which is going to give you z squared. So instead of negative z in parentheses squared, allow me to write just z squared. So this becomes z squared over xy plus y squared over xz plus x squared over yz. So this is what we're trying to evaluate. How do you do that? The only thing I know is x plus y plus z is equal to zero and I already used it. So how do you proceed? So here's what we're going to do next. Let's go ahead and make a common denominator. If we do, we're going to have to multiply this by z, this by y, and this by x. So that's going to give me the following. z cubed plus y cubed plus x cubed over x, y, and z. Remember, x, y, z does not equal 0. But I got the sum of cubes in the numerator. so. Allow me to write this as x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed because my OCD doesn't want to leave it that way. So this is the expression we're trying to simplify, right? So how am I going to simplify this? Well, I'm supposed to find a numerical value, so let's go ahead and find the relationship between the sum of the cubes and the product. But this is a special case because x plus y plus z is equal to 0. And you can test with many values, like I said earlier, 1, 1, negative 2 is going to work. You can just test it to see what the answer is, but then try to do it algebraically because it's more fun. Anyways, so here's what, what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this expression and separate these two terms and apply sum of two cubes. Ready? x cubed plus y cubed can be written as x plus y cubed. I'm using a different version here. Minus... 3xy times x plus y. You know what? This is something we use for cubic formula as well. So that should be familiar to you, hopefully. And then plus the z cubed. Now, remember, x plus y plus z is 0, right? It's given. So what does that mean? You can replace x plus y with negative z here and here. What's so good about that? Well, when you cube negative z, you get negative z cubed. Because if you cube a negative number, I'm not saying z is negative necessarily, but just pretend that z is positive, therefore negative z is negative. And when you cube a negative number, its cube is also negative. Make sense? When you square it, it's the other way around. So now when you multiply negative 3xy by negative z, that's going to become plus 3xyz. And then you're going to have the z cubed. Great. Negative z cubed and z cubed, uh-oh. The power disappeared. They cancel out, leaving us with 3xyz. And where does that come from? From the sum of 3 cubes. 
Awesome. What am I trying to simplify? Well, our expression turned into this x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed over x, y, z. Remember, after we made the replacements and hopefully you remember, but let me go back. We replaced x plus y, x plus z, and y plus z. And then we made a common denominator and this is what we got. Now I'm going to do substitution one more time and replace the x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed with 3xyz and then divide it by xyz. And of course, xyz does not equal zero. Therefore, the answer is three. Awesome. That was my first method. And let's talk about the second approach or second method. Well, I guess I can use it, uh, call it second method or second approach, whatever. And Let's see how that works. So, remember our expression turned into the following. Let me rewrite what, what I have. x plus y plus z is equal to 0. And we're supposed to simplify or evaluate or whatever you want to call that. This expression in, uh, not in terms of something, but as a numerical value. All right? So we're supposed to find a numerical value for this. How do you do that? After making a common denominator, remember what we had. We had x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed divided by x, y, z. So you have this and you have that. So how do you put those together? Here's where the algebra skills come in handy. If you are familiar with an identity, which I'm going to show you, then this should be fairly easy. And that identity is the following x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed minus 3xyz. By the way, this is a very interesting polynomial and there's quite a few Olympiad problems and competition problems, you know, just centered around this idea. And um, it's a really cool identity. Uh, you should definitely know that. So this is divisible by x plus y plus z. To see that it's divisible, you can actually replace x with negative y minus z, for example. Uh, and you'll see that it's equal to zero when you do that. So anyways, this can be written as, and I'm pretty much, I'm going to need some room. So let me go ahead and move this to the left a little bit more so I can fit it. Okay, here we go. So now this can be written as x plus y plus z multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus xy minus xz minus yz. I'm not going to go into the proof because we've done it in other videos. If I remember or remind me, uh, I will share some links down below. But since we know that x plus y plus z is equal to 0, the product becomes 0. On the left-hand side, the stuff becomes 0. Therefore, this gives us the same result as before. x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed is equal to 3xyz. Therefore, this is going to equal 3 as before. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.